Alright, what's going on everybody? Paul here from the COD Brothers Gaming today, bringing you guys another gameplay. Today we're going to be talking about Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z, and some of the things in the past Dragon Ball Z Budokai games and Tenkaichi games that kind of made me a little bit concerned, because one thing that I remember, I didn't necessarily see too much swordsman gameplay, and I'm really wondering how that's going to work out, because if you guys have seen some of the gameplay, when you hit somebody, you kind of knock them back, and once you knock them back, you'd have to rescan. I think you'd have to rescan or just try to catch up to them, but the thing is, Swordsman gameplay. How many of you guys use Swordsman characters in this game? Swordsman characters in the Dragon Ball Z series have been pretty, pretty damn good in my opinion because let's look at a game like Tenkai G3. When you use a Swordsman character, sometimes you can use their, their key energy and combine it with their swords and actually break through the guards of the enemies and stuff like that. There's little things like this, like with Janemba, you see I can slash right through and I got my ass busted. But I mean, these three characters right here, Tapion, Janemba, and Trunks are just a few of the swordsmen. We also have Deborah and some other people I'm probably forgetting. But I mean, I want to know how you how the gameplay is going to work with swordsmen. Are they going to be making a huge comeback? Are they going to get leveled up onto another... Like, are they going to be nerfed? Are they going to be buffed? Is it going to work out well with the new system? Because if you guys went, played, like... How, how long have you guys played Dragon Ball Z games? I've played it since Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22. I think that was my first Dragon Ball Z game. I'm not entirely sure. There might have been one before that. I don't think so. I, I probably can't remember it, but that was my first. There's sirens outside. Oh my god. But I mean, my, that was the first one on the PlayStation 1, and it was all in Japanese, and I don't think it was so hard to form combos and stuff like that. And I don't even think they had swordsman characters at all. They, they had trunks. They had them. They had the looks of the characters. They just had the sword in the back for. Uh, for display and aesthetics and stuff like that, but I mean, that game was bad. That was the first Dragon Ball Z game I got, and then when I went to Budokai on PS2, it was such a relief to see such a good game in the campaign. Everything was in English. Problem was, once again, I don't think you could use the sword at all. I don't remember you being able to use the sword. It was just there for looks. You could just punch, blast, and stuff like that. In Budokai 2, the same thing happened again. I think it was just there for aesthetics, and the only way you could use the sword is through the special, like the final attack, I think. Um, it was the, the attack that he used to kill Frieza, the, uh, I forgot the damn, the damn name. And, um, and Trunks is my favorite character, wow, I can't remember off the top of my head. But, in Budokai 3 is when you actually got to use the sword, I believe. You actually used to swipe it a couple of times when you attack. It wasn't as pro, like, it wasn't as out there as it is in the Tenkaichi series. Like, as you guys can see, I'm swiping the sword as many times as I want because it's like an extension of the character themselves. That's something I really liked, and I'm hoping returns to the Battle of Z franchise because I, I didn't really play the, the newer one, so I don't really know. But you guys can tell me in the comment section below, what do you guys think? I really like swords, Swordsman's because they have some of the best techniques. They're, most, they're really fast pace and close range combat um, people, so when you attack with them, it keeps the fight interesting. You would have to run up to the enemy, and the enemy can't stop all these attacks, and then when you use the key blast com in combination with that to break down their guards, it really keeps the enemies on their toes. That's, just, that's the thing I like about Tenkai G3. That's why I like Swordsman fights, especially when I fight against my brother. He always used Tapion. He uses Tapion to like use uh, the slashes to break down my guard, and then I would have to like fight back against his uh his, his spirit flute and stuff that I forgot about. That if you guys have seen my Battle of Z, my uh, Battle of Brother um, series, which I might be continuing again, that's really what it is. I love swordsman fights, and I really hope they return. Anybody remember Samurai Jack? <laughs> yeah, wow, I just remember that for some reason. But the swordsmen, they need to come back in full power and their full glory, or else I, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> it's going to be weird. Because I don't like just punching and blasting all the time. The swordsman mechanic always adds like a new set of, um, I guess, gameplay variety. I guess you could also count Kid Goku as a swordsman because he uses the pole. I don't know. Because I remember in Dragon Ball Z Online, you could also switch it up, add a swordsman to your character and stuff like that. It was really nice. Unfortunately, as of today, this game is gone because it's November 1st when we're recording this. And that game apparently shut down on October 31st. So... Hopefully you guys agree with me. Tell me what you guys think. I'll be seeing you guys next time with some more DBZ Battle of Z topics. If you guys have anything you guys want me to talk about or go over, tell me in the comment section below as well. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Make sure you guys like the video for more, subscribe for more, and I'll be seeing you guys then. Peace.